I'm here with a, another video in today's video we have an Xbox one charger or power unit supply people call them charger but they're actually not a charger they are called power supply so they just supply a power to the Xbox and the charger is something that is charging the battery there's no battery inside the Xbox so don't get that confusing these are called power supply for Xbox one um, but I have to put the charger on the description so you guys get to the right place. In this video, I'm going to talk about the power supply of the Xbox and how you can actually clean it up and fix uh, some of the major issues that most people get in the store. We get them all the time. Uh, for example, people like a turn, when you turn your console on, the light goes white and then after a few seconds, it just goes orange and it turns off or it stays off. And this happens because of there is a ventilation inside the inside the power unit and once it gets really dusty and it doesn't the sensor it detects that it's overheating quickly it shuts down for its own protection so it is really important that you keep this one really in a nice clean place and don't dump it be behind the table or anything like that it needs to have nice ventilation on top of the table the air has to go in and there's an exhaust uh, vent right there so I'm going to open it up and show you guys how to open it up and how you can clean it up and fix the issue. Again, remember the issue can be another co component that is dead or short circuit or something else. But there is no harm to do a service. But if you have a, another component issue that it burned or it smells, then you might want to replace your uh, power unit. So let's get it started. First thing first, you need an opening tool. I use the iFixit tool set. They have all the bits you need for any electronics. You're gonna be using bit and torque 10. These are secure bit lock. They have a little hole in the middle and these are really hard to find. And this set, it, it provides you with that. So again, is a torque number 10, secure torque is called. Another item you need, it's a pointy screwdriver. We're gonna be using this one to remove the rubber legs at the bottom. What you wanna do, you wanna stick the rubber leg right, you wanna lift it up a little bit, right there, and you wanna shove it really hard on the, up to the bottom, and then you wanna just pull it up, and then it should come like this. Because you, you might, if you try to lift it up, peel it off like this, you're going to just damage the plastic or the rubber here. You're just going to rip them apart. The only easy way is to push it all the way in and just pull them up. Same thing here. Lift up a little bit and push it to the side, inside, and lift it up. Do this for all four of them. And if your rubber comes out and the plastic stays there, you have to remove the plastic too. And then you can actually put the plastic inside the rubber right there. All right. Now we finish with that tool. Now what we're going to do, we're going to grab the screwdriver and we're going to unscrew all these four screws. They're kind of tough. So I'm going to use two hands. The screws are all the same size and height. So don't worry about mismatching them. And for the really important part is following the, uh, the next steps really careful. What you wanna do, you wanna grab this point, do a shortage right here, so you can discharge the capacitors inside. And we're gonna do another pass. Next, you wanna flip it face up. You wanna lift up the top part. This plastic might fall off, don't worry about it. This is the reflector for the LCD, for the LED. Lift it up and there's gonna be this fan cable coming from the top part to the bottom. So you, yours might be a different position, but it's the same thing pretty much. Just pull it out and disconnect the fan. This plastic right here, it comes from the corner, so it should be positioned somehow, something like this. No, no maybe it's the other way around, like that. So find the right position, it's just like plain Tetris. 
pretty much in this part we're not gonna do anything we're just gonna grab it air can and just clean it use an old toothbrush remove the excess of dust right here we're gonna be working on this top part the fan right here we're gonna use a Phillips number zero and we're gonna remove three screws on the bottom on the top cover So remove those three screws and then lift up this fan and you're gonna see this one is already cleaned up but the fan is not soft it's really like it's not spinning too nicely so you, let's see if we can open the fan and do a maintenance inside here so remove another three screws now we're gonna remove the fan from here it should come out yeah, there we go the fan model it's right over here I don't know if you guys can see it pause it and look at it I'll leave the link in the description all right now we're gonna remove two screws right here and to remove this cover there's a little tiny clips right here so you have to lift this clips a little bit to let go there we go there's one more at the this guy. You have to have a fingernails. I just cut my nails, so use something. There we go. Let me remove the top cover. And what we're gonna do, you wanna grab the fan evenly, don't grab it from one side, it's not gonna come out. You wanna grab it evenly and you wanna pull it out. And the way we're gonna clean it, and we're gonna see that actually have a is rubbing off so that's why it's slowing down and that's maybe the main reason that it was shutting down so what you want to do you want to grab a working towel and you want to grab an alcohol you want to soak it nicely inside there and we're gonna start cleaning putting it right in between the pan right there in the stick right in the middle and just rotate it nicely to remove all those dirt and excess plastic that it was just accumulated there look at that that's what you want to do so do a two or three passes right there make sure it's a nice and clean all right next in here you don't want to touch it with this one you want to use an old toothbrush or new one and just rub it off to remove the excess of plastic you can spray alcohol but then you have to wait for alcohol to dry off and next thing you want a lubricant a really soft lubricant I'll leave the link in the description and you want to inject one or two drops right in the middle of this where the pen goes so put one or two drops you don't want to overdo the oil neither so now there's the oil now what we want to do, you want to grab the fan and put it right straight on top and just do a few turns and look how soft this one is spinning. It spins like a brand new. Before we were doing this one, it would just stop right away. Now it's actually spinning much, much easier. And even to the touch, you can feel it. I guess in the camera it looks that it's actually not spinning, I guess, but it does spin much better right now and then you want to grab the top cover put it on top push it down make sure you do those two clicks put the two screws that you removed from here and that's why people like uh, not always you need to buy a fan you can do your own service to the fan and not buying one so bring it over put it right in there put the three screws for it now grab the top cover put the fan the way it's supposed to be i'm guessing like this it sucks there from here and it just blows it to the other side put the three screws that you removed make sure the cable is not pinched right underneath it has to be there's a little spot to go now you want to bring this one up, grab the reflector for the lead, place it in here, the white side has to face inward, just like that. 
So the white paint has to be inside and just place it in there. Now you're gonna grab the top cover, put the fan, the fan only goes one way in. And then push it towards the jack, all the way in. Now you wanna bring it over underneath this heat sink, bring it right there, and then bring the cover over, and then squish it down. Make sure there's nothing else in the in the way. Okay. Now you're gonna face it down and we're gonna put the back the screws. I hope this video helped you guys out and resolved some of your issues. And if it did, click, think about clicking that thumbs up button. And if you guys subscribe, it really helps and motivates me to take requests and answer your questions. And again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm just gonna finish putting this one up.